everybody. Cousin Chicken, don't tell me to be here by now. Seven verse 
first one. All together. Hey guys, it's game time. Today's game is called Super Stacks. The object of today's game is to build stacks that are even and high. If the stack falls, your team loses. All right, let's introduce our, our teams for today. Team one. Go to the tiger. I'm so confused. Anyway, it's time for our lesson. Turkey season. It's turkey season. Exactly. Right. All right, guys. Today we're covering our lesson on giving thanks. But what does thanks mean? Expressions of gratitude. What is gratitude? Feeling thankful for the blessings you have received from God. Uh, but what is thanksgiving? Recognizing and thanking God for being the one who provides. But what are uh, what are some words that mean thanks? Gratitude. Appreciation. Acknowledgement. Recognition. Blessings. Praise. Thanksgiving. But what are some things that we're thankful for? Life, friends and family, food, Jesus, help, shelter and miracles, love and kindness. All right, 
right guys, three ways, three things we know about gratitude. Number one, everything is from God. That's right guys, everything is a gift from God, whether it's big or small. Number two, your heart. That's right guys, your heart expresses yourself. It shows what's inside and it's gonna show. Number three. Action. Action, that's right, action. Our, whatever we have in our heart will show and it's very, very important. So action, action is like an attitude. And when we have a gratitude, that's the attitude that we should have. All right guys, what are some ways that we up that can help us be more free? Number one. Write it down. That's right. When we write it down, it helps for us to remember and then we can always reflect on it later. Number two. Remember the good, the bad, and the ugly. Look, remembering the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's true, guys. It, it is an experience that we all have had. And when we do, we remember the steps that took us from the beginning all the way to the end and how God has been with us each step of the way. Number three. Pray and read the Bible. When we go back to the basics, guys, when we humble ourselves and pray and develop a relationship with God, it helps us remember. Number four. Commit to practicing gratitude. That's right. Research shows that if we uh, make an oath and we continue focus on it, we'll be able to accomplish the goal that we want. In this case, gratitude. And it's as simple as starting to smile and say thank you more. Number five. Language. That's right. Language is powerful. What comes out of our mouth carries a lot of weight. It can either be positive or negative. It can be a blessing or a curse. It can be uplift or it can destroy. When we speak, it should be things that encourage, uplift, and glorify God. Number six. Others. That's right. It's about blessing. We are here to bless others. It's not about always about me, but it's about we. Number seven. Health. There's a big connection between gratitude and health. And when we are, it increases our mood. We're able to have a decreased blood pressure. And not only that, it helps. It also helps. People are more uh, show more gratitude or more grateful tend to follow more healthy habits like exercise, eating right, and avoiding risky behaviors. But most importantly, it's good for our hearts. All right, guys, you know what? Add, uh, gratitude should be the attitude that we should have. Gratitude focuses our eyes off of what we don't have to what we do have. Off ourselves and on to God. Appreciate your blessings. And not all of your missing. That's true. But you know, guys, repeat after me. I will be thankful. I will be thankful. Louder. I will be thankful. I will be thankful. Louder. I will be thankful. And we will remember the goodness that God has done for each and every one of us. All right, Brother Turkey. Did you not hear our message today? Aren't you more thankful? No! Don't, Don't be a turkey, turkey just give thanks. Don't be a turkey, just give thanks. Don't be a turkey, just give thanks. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Many people still today don't remember what to say. When Jesus answers prayers and tells us what to say, Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Don't be a turkey, just give thanks. Don't be a turkey, just give thanks. Don't be a turkey, just give thanks. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Be thankful in your heart for everything. Are you thankful now? Nah. For real? Okay. Yeah. All right. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Can you lead us in a prayer? Sure. Woo! No gobble gobble. <laughs> Jesus.
just thank you for helping me stop being a turkey and to give thanks. We're grateful for everything, Lord, and we just ask you to bless everybody, Father, this Thanksgiving, but beyond that, to help us to be grateful every day for what you came to this earth to do. And we thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Remember, guys, say it with me. Thank, thank you. you. One more time. Thank, thank you. you. And remember, don't, don't be a turkey and give, give thanks. thanks. All right, guys. From all of us from the London Kids. Happy Thanksgiving! Rabbit season. Turkey season. Rabbit season. Turkey season. Rabbit season. Rabbit season. Turkey season. It's happening. You know what? I, I'm confused. You know what? I'm just going to get turkey and rabbit season. Wait, wait. I, I told God I was thankful. You told God you're thankful? Yep. Oh, man. Now I can't have a Thanksgiving. Oh. I'm sure I am grateful that we ain't going to be food this Thanksgiving. Right. Well, maybe I can do my Thanksgiving. <laughs> Where's that turkey?